What's going on guys, JJ here with Picking Through Michigan and today I'm going to pull some eBay orders and then I got to go ship them out. But um, I'm going to show you how I ship things because I don't really do that. So let's go. Alright, I'm pulling these uh, earbuds here. Picked these up at Goodwill I think for like 15 I paid up for them because they, they were brand new. 15 I think 15 and sold them for 54 99 plus shipping. And I really hope they're in here. <laughs> good, good. I was gonna say I thought I put them in here. Uh, yeah, five dollar shipping, so fifty nine ninety nine. All right, pulling another item here. This is a DoorDash bag I picked up at the thrift store for like three bucks, I think. And yeah, sold it for twelve ninety nine plus three dollar shipping. And I got it hanging right here. I got a watch around that Gators hat too, so hopefully that sells. But yeah, not too bad. Alrighty, sold Roller Coaster Tycoon for $9.99 plus $3 shipping. This is in the very bag. Yep. I took an offer on this controller for $10, free shipping. Oh, the guy left a really nice message. He just was looking for a side inexpensive controller. I think he's playing with his son. And he didn't really want to look around thrift stores, so I, I took the ten dollars. It was for twelve ninety nine, but I took ten dollars. Um, I, I bought this for like a dollar, so I'm happy to help someone out who really wants it. Yeah. Now, if you're wondering how I'm going to ship this controller, um, because it is an, an because it is an inexpensive controller, um, I'm not going to do priority shipping. I'm just going to do standard shipping because it doesn't weigh over a pound. It's super light. It's just cheap plastic. But I got these uh, six by th six by four by three boxes. It fits right in there with some bubble wrap perfectly. I'm just gonna tape it up, ship it out like that. Now to ship this game, um, because I don't want the box to get damaged, I don't want to put it in like a bubble mailer. I'm just gonna put it in this box, which is perfect size for it. And I'm just gonna cut the box down. If you don't know how to do that, you basically just take a box cutter, go down the uh, corners to each, like to the top of the item, give it a little bit of room, and then you want to take that box cutter and cut a straight line across, not too deep, all the way across the whole thing, so these can fold in. And yeah, I'll show you what that looks like when I when I do that. All right, so now I got my box cut down. I cut the flaps off the sides. It's all the extra cardboard, and I don't know if you can see, but there's lines down here. So basically, just fold the box down. Actually, fold this side first. And then yeah, then you just measure it, tape it up, and you're good to go. Alright, so we're shipping the packages. I'm just getting the dimensions and the weight. So I use Pirate Ship for a lot of my shipping. Um, basically just click box, type in the information, and then type in the weight. And then you just click get rates. And there it is. So I'll be paying $3.96 to ship that out. Alright, now I'm just printing out the labels. Um, I, I don't do this full time, so I don't need like a fancy printer. There's the, I think it's called the Dymo label printer. You can buy those. You just basically just print it and just stick it on there. It's already sticky for you. You don't got to tape it. But I would do that if I had more business. So this is just side for me because I, obviously I do... Uber Eats, Grubhub, I manage the pizza place, and yeah, and I do eBay, so. Alright, I got those two packages ready to go. I'm about to go to the post office to ship them out. Um, if you noticed the video, I pulled probably like four or five items. Um, I already shipped the first three out probably yesterday or two days ago. How I do my videos, since I don't get enough business, like per day to do daily videos, I don't want my content to be boring, so I kind of bundle up like a week's worth of um, sales into a video and yeah, so that's why I'm only shipping these two out because I already shipped out the other items, but Pulling into the post office, gonna drop these off now, and then I'm headed home. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, if you guys are wanting to open a or start an eBay business, get a get a PO box. I recommend it, just the smallest one they have, because 
if you return an item, you don't want them to have your address, just in case someone gets upset with you for some reason. Even if you're a good person, people are, you know, people are crazy. So you don't want no one, you know, having your address. So get a P.O. box, uh, that'll be your return address. And if they do return something and it's too small to fit in the box, they just leave a key in the box to a bigger box so you can open up that box to get your item back. All right, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Thanks.